everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. So today it's the new season. I am bringing you some autumn outfit inspiration. So these are just some kind of, I want to say random. They're not really that random. Just pieces I've pulled together that I will kind of be wearing this season and the kind of looks and styles that I'm going for. So I'm going to be talking about each outfit in turn and why I chose it. Etc. So let's begin. Look number one is an all black number. I've seen this a lot on Instagram. A kind of oversized jumper like this. This one is actually from Zara last year. As always, links and similar alternatives will be in the description box below. Uh, as much as I can possibly find similar, um, or I'll choose something a bit of an alternative that you could wear with the outfit. But this jumper, just nice oversized chunky knit, and then paired with some straight leg black trousers. These ones are from Novo London. And this look, whilst being very comfortable, is also quite chic and easy to put together. And I think this season we'll see a lot more of the oversized trend in terms of having your jumpers tucked out with the trousers rather than kind of half tucking it in maybe. I think this look we'll see a lot. And then just to kind of balance it out, I paired it with with some loafers, my dear Francis loafers, and my bag is from Kareelu. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, but they do some amazing, kind of really interesting and different kinds of bags, so I love this shearling version. And I think with this all black, very simple outfit that is essentially some basic pieces that probably we all have a variation of in our wardrobes, it's nice to inject a slightly more fun accessory, although this bag goes with a lot, it's a little bit different and more fun, so I think just bringing an element of something fun just lightens the outfit and makes it feel, I don't know, a little bit more on trend maybe. And then I finish off with my gold jewellery. This is all from my collection with North School Woman. So I will again be linking it below, but I just wanted to pick up on the gold of the shoes and the back. So before we go on to look number two, which is actually my favourite look in the whole uh, video, I just wanted to take a quick pause to ask if you could subscribe whilst you're here if you are enjoying my content. Um, it would be very much appreciated, so thank you for that. Look number two, as I said, my favourite of the whole video. Um, and I was quite inspired by a Massimo Duty look I saw, um, I think, if you saw my last video, we spent the week in south of France and uh, I saw an outfit in the Massimo Dutti uh, window and I took a picture. I was taking a, a few pictures of different window displays that I really liked um, for inspiration. And this is kind of roughly based on um, something I saw there. So I've got this knit on. This one is from The Curated and it's actually part of their cashmere set. Um, so I'll try and link it, if not, there are lots of collared knits available this year, so I will be linking that. Again, quite a big trend, although it's a real staple basic piece for me. Collared knits are still going to be around as a bit more of a trend thing. Um, and they're so versatile, easy to wear. Um, and I've paired it here with my skirt. This is from Capsule by Agnes Gilte. And this is such a chic skirt. I've been pulling it out quite a lot lately. I just think it looks so nice with a pair of boots. And you could also really dress it up for evening um, with a bit more of a kind of dressy blouse and a heel. So it's a really great skirt, even one you could take to work as well. It's a great length, great fit. I just love everything about this. Um, and then I've gone for some brown accessories. Brown is going to be a big trend for this autumn winter. Um, although it's, again, a kind of classic for me, like brown just comes back year after year, doesn't it, in autumn? But I think we'll see a spotlight on brown at the minute. And I just love these brown accessories. I just think it makes the outfit feel so autumnal. Um, I've got these brown crop boots on from Naked Fashion. These, unfortunately, are from last year. I've got a belt on, which I featured in a previous video by a brand called Black and Brown London. They do some beautiful, slightly more investment belts, um, but things that you'll be able to get so much wear out of. I feel like I'll be wearing this brown belt a lot because it just kind of elevates the outfit, even though it's quite a simple piece. It does just feel a little bit different. And then the brown bag again just ties it all together. This is from Caffeine and gold jewellery as well to just pick up on some of the gold elements in the accessories. Look number three is a bit more of a simple look, but I will still be pulling my slouchy jeans out this autumn winter. Um, they're not going anywhere, especially for me. I find them so comfortable. 
This pair is an old Zara pair and I've just paired it with this pair, pair, pair. Um, I've paired it with this jumper from Reese. This is a new season one, so should be able to link that. And then I put my clogs with it. I feel like these might be a bit controversial, but I'm loving clogs at the moment. I just think they're really cool um, and add something, you know, a little bit different to your looks. These ones are from Aloha. And then I've gone for the gold belt and then some gold hoop earrings. And you could kind of do this look with anything, you know, the slouchy jeans and the polo neck jumper, mix this up with different kinds of shoes, jewellery, accessories, belts, um, and create sort of different looks just from this base kind of outfit, which is quite casual and comfortable. Next, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of longer, slightly more streamlined riding sort of boots. I think there might be a slight veer away from the chunky boots. I don't think they've gone, but I think we might go towards a slightly more streamlined shape um, and like I say, a bit more of a riding boot. These ones are from Charles and Keith and they're really comfortable and I love the gold buckle on them and the shape of them. Um, so yeah, like I say, I think these are going to be a bit of a trend. So if you can get your hands on something like this, um, I've seen some on Mango, I've seen some on H&M, some affordable versions out there and Charles and Keith, of course. Um, and then I've just paired them with these leggings from Under the Stories, my oversized black blazer, again, an old Under the Stories, simple sweatshirt, and then this scarf, which is a vintage piece I picked up a while ago now. And I think this outfit is just so simple, but the scarf just really elevates it and bring something different and I've got my Poulain Paris black bag, bit of structure to it and I do think this look could work from kind of going to work, I think you could definitely wear it if you're in a slightly more casual environment and you're kind of allowed to be a bit more playful, I think this would work but this also I think would be a really nice outfit to take you right through to the weekend to a day of like shopping and lunch where you want to look quite smart and put together, but not too dressy. You've got the flat boots on and I really think the scarf elevates this. And if you wanted to, going uh, kind of further into the season, if you wanted to do this look uh, a bit warmer in a bit of a warmer way, um, you could put a smart long coat on and maybe a chunkier scarf. I still love wearing my ballet flats in winter, so I've got these Chanel ones on here just with some simple ripped jeans, but then a way to make this a little bit warmer so you're not too cold um, with the ballet flats. It's just by wearing a chunky jumper and then a lightweight coat. I know that so many of us are in different sorts of climates, so I'm trying to do a bit of a variety in terms of footwear and things like that to suit everybody's kind of climate. And you can adapt these outfits as well. So if you were a bit warm for a thick jumper, you could put a lightweight one or a t-shirt with this. Um, but I've got this jumper on from Pretty Lavish, my Pixie Market long coat, and yeah, as I say, my Chanel flats, I just think an oversized jumper, jeans and flats is a really easy, chic way to look put together, but still casual. So this season, I want to branch out a little bit more to some more skirts and dresses. So here I'm wearing this Charlotte and Tess dress. This one I got last year. I've seen some similar ones, so I'll link some alternatives, um, but it's such a beautiful piece. I love these collared dresses um, because I think they're a nice casual piece, but the collar just brings something a little bit different. I think dresses, sometimes a knit dress can feel a little bit boring, so to have that collar just, again, like I say, provides something a bit different. And here I've paired it with my Isabel Marant boots. I think you've got to be careful sometimes with knit dresses because they can look a little bit, I don't want to say mature, a little bit dated maybe. Um, so I think try and make them as modern as you can with some modern accessories. Like the Isabel Marant boots, they just provide a bit of a contrast to the slightly more feminine dress. And then my Chloe bag, again, just elevates it a little bit and brings in a different dynamic. And finally, the outfit that I'm wearing now is my new Sana New York blazer. You know I'm obsessed with their brand. Um, they have some beautiful pieces coming out for autumn, so definitely make sure to have a look at their website because um, I'm just so obsessed. <laughs> but this blazer is beautiful quality. You can really tell the quality of their pieces. Um, this blazer included. It's warm without being too thick and chunky and heavy. Just that nice weight um, where you could fit a jumper underneath. Um, I love that you could wear this. It's a little bit longer, so you could wear it maybe with some leggings like I was wearing before with the black blazer. Um, but I've just paired it here with some straight leg jeans. These are from Mango, I think, a couple of years ago. My Gucci loafers um, and just a simple white t-shirt underneath. But again, depending on your climate, you could probably mix this up. You could wear a bit of a chunkier jumper underneath. You could pair it with boots instead of the loafers. Um, but I think the kind of jeans and the blazer look, especially this kind 
kind of tweedy style are the kind of key elements to this outfit and then you can play around with your accessories and other pieces. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and the looks. Let me know your favourite look below, I always like to hear what you like the best and always leave me a suggestion if you've got any for future videos and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again, bye.